This is America's Portland International Airport, PDX. For many years, America was losing the game when it came to building a beautiful airport. But now, they have finally created one that stands out. Until now, no U.S. airport ranks inside the worldwide top 20, which might surprise many, considering America invented the airplane and is home to the world's oldest aviation hub. But finally, things have changed. After over three years of hard work, Portland International Airport has reopened with a stunning new terminal that ranks among the most beautiful airports worldwide. So, you might be curious to know what made this airport worth the wait and how it defeated others. Let's see. This is the story of Portland, Oregon, the state's largest city. With this city's unofficial motto, Keep Portland Weird, it's easy to see why it's a fun spot for a weekend getaway. But before you can enjoy the quirky side of the city, you've got to get there by passing through Portland International Airport, PDX. For years, PDX has been one of the more dependable airports in the U.S., but it's been in desperate need of an upgrade. The original terminal, built nearly 70 years ago in 1956, had served its time, but it wasn't built to keep up with modern demands. As the airport grew, it expanded across 11 separate buildings. However, the issue was that each building was designed under different codes, both structural and seismic, making it hard to update or expand. This caused major challenges when it came to things like security checkpoints. To make room for future growth, changes were necessary, including removing obstacles like shear walls and brace frames. These structural adjustments were essential to create flexibility for future updates. It became clear that PDX needed a major overhaul to meet the demands of today's travelers. That's why, in 2019, a massive $2 billion overhaul of Portland International Airport kicked off. This isn't just any ordinary project. It's the biggest public works project in Oregon's history. But what makes it even more impressive is that it's also the largest mass timber project in the world. The scale of this endeavor is truly something to behold. Despite the massive size of the project, ZGF Architects and the Port of Portland were determined to keep PDX feeling connected to the city. They wanted the airport to be accessible, with a sense of place that reflects Portland's natural beauty. That's where the idea of bringing the outdoors indoors came from. Working alongside contractors Skanska and Hoffman, they've created an environment that feels like a walk through the Pacific Northwest's forests. The region's deep ties to timber were the perfect inspiration. The goal was to make travelers feel like they were truly in the heart of the Pacific Northwest, not just any airport in the country. It took six years to set up a supply chain for the wood needed for the roof, and impressively, all of it was sourced within a 300-mile radius of the airport. Instead of focusing on cheap materials from far away, the project made a conscious effort to use sustainable, locally sourced timber to showcase the craftsmanship of the region. As you walk through the new terminal, once all the work is finished, you might feel like you're walking through Portland's famous Forest Park instead of rushing to catch a flight. The space is filled with over 5,000 plants, including mature black walnut, ficus, and olive trees all soaking up natural sunlight streaming in through 49 skylights. This sunlight pours down onto a ceiling made of a unique lattice design that spans across nine acres, using 600,000 board feet of Douglas fir timber sourced from 11 forests. But the wooden ceiling is just one part of the design. The entire terminal follows a biophilic approach, meaning nature is built into every detail. This was done for two main reasons. First, the design helps sequester carbon emissions, making the project more sustainable. Second, creating a natural environment is believed to help lower blood pressure, turning your travel experience into something more relaxing. So, it's not just about getting you to your gate, it's about making the journey there a bit more peaceful. An airport might not be the first place that comes to mind when you think of a calming space, but that's exactly what Portland is aiming for. The design is peaceful, the atmosphere is refreshing, and everything looks stunning. But here's where things get even more impressive. During the entire three-year renovation, 
the airport never shut down. That's right, while crews were transforming the terminal, PDX was still handling 500 flights a day. Just thinking about that sounds overwhelming, and it should be, because managing a full-scale airport while completely overhauling its structure is no small task. So, how did they pull it off? The key was working with the building's layout. The main terminal sits in the center, with concourses stretching out on either side. To keep things running, critical operations like ticketing and security were temporarily moved to the front and sides. That made it possible to demolish sections of the old structure behind them while still keeping the baggage system up and running. While planes were landing and taking off, a section of the airfield was turned into a construction zone for assembling the airport's incredible new roof. Instead of building it piece by piece over the terminal, crews pre-constructed it in three massive sections. Each of these sections was made up of 18 smaller pieces, with some weighing as much as 635,000 kilos. The largest section alone stretched more than 40 by 60 meters. To support such a huge structure, the roof was built using large steel box girders, each measuring 20 feet by 6 feet, spaced about 100 feet apart. Between these girders, curved glulam beams and mass timber panels were carefully placed, with a roof layered on top. But the beauty of the design came from the intricate latticework beneath it, made from three X6 timber pieces that created a striking visual effect. Once everything was assembled, the challenge was getting the roof into position. The sections were separated, and special sliding drawers extended from between the girders lifting the roof up to 17 meters. Then, each section had to be carefully moved nearly a mile from the construction site at the end of the runway, at a slow and steady pace of just one mile per hour. Each section of the roof took about three nights to move. The first night was for positioning it at the starting point, the second night got it halfway there, and the final night brought it into place. Once everything was securely in position, airport security was able to move into the new building. It's not every day you see a massive airport roof being wheeled across an active taxiway. And with a structure this large, there was one major challenge. Wood and water don't mix well. If the timber absorbed too much moisture, it could expand and throw off the entire fit, which would have been a disaster after all that effort. To prevent that from happening, they came up with a smart solution. As soon as the wood arrived, a temporary roof was placed over it. A protective membrane covered the timber, shielding it from the elements. This simple but effective strategy kept the wood in perfect condition until it was ready for its final placement. A roof for the roof sounds funny, but it was necessary. However, keeping the wood dry wasn't the only challenge the team had to deal with. The area underneath the construction wasn't an empty space, it was actually home to Portland's baggage system. That meant crews had to work carefully around an active airport, making sure everything stayed operational. Because of this, all the fitting work had to be done at night, during the airport's quietest hours between midnight and 3.30 a.m. And since these massive roof sections were being placed over a space that was still in use, they had to be securely tied down. The biggest concern? making sure the roof wouldn't come crashing down in the event of an earthquake. That brings us to another big challenge. Portland sits in Oregon's most seismically active region. Scientists predict a 37% chance of a major earthquake in the next 50 years. So the airport couldn't just look good. It had to be built for safety. If an earthquake happens, the entire roof is designed to move as one, keeping passengers below safe. The roof is supported by Y columns, which rise up from the ground. On top of each Y column, there's a base isolator called a friction pendulum isolator. These isolators are designed to handle the mass at each location. At the edges, you'll find one size of friction pendulum, while in the middle, there's another size. These isolators move in a way that's carefully calculated to ensure the roof shifts just the right amount. The friction is what keeps the roof in place allowing it to move up to 56 centimeters when needed. But with all that movement, the roof touches adjacent surfaces, like solid walls and glass, and those areas need to pivot in all directions. 
This required some intricate detailing, mock-ups, and lots of testing to make sure it worked. In the end, everything came together perfectly, ticking off the big three, stunning design, sustainability, and strength. The roof is ready for whatever comes its way. This project was anything but simple, but in the end, it will allow Portland International Airport to nearly double its capacity in the coming years. By 2045, the goal is to welcome 35 million travelers each year. And when they arrive, they won't just be stepping into a modern airport, they'll be stepping into a space that truly reflects the spirit of Portland. For those who have flown through PDX before, there's one thing they'll never forget, the famous PDX carpet. Some say it's the most iconic airport carpet in the world, giving even the UK's Weatherspoons pubs a run for their money. But for anyone worried it might be gone, don't be. The carpet lives on. You'll find sections of it carefully recreated and hidden throughout the airport in cozy seating areas, perfect for those classic shoe selfies, if that's still a thing. All jokes aside, reaching this point took an enormous effort, and every detail was carefully planned to make sure PDX stayed true to itself. Like, to create a welcoming and easy-to-navigate space, the new terminal was designed with a layout inspired by Portland's urban planning. Inside the large, flexible main terminal, smaller structures were arranged to reflect the city's short blocks, walkable streets, and green spaces. This series of rooms makes the airport feel more like a neighborhood than a massive transportation hub. While the wide-span roof keeps the space open and adaptable, its curved design also makes room for smaller, independent structures below. These include shops, offices, restrooms, and other essential airport services, blending convenience with a comfortable, human-friendly scale. After checking in, ticketed passengers head to the TSA security checkpoints, which are located at either the north or south end of the terminal, depending on their departure gate. These updated checkpoints are designed to make the process smoother and faster for everyone. The new system moves bins along a conveyor belt, automatically returning them for the next person, which helps keep the lines moving. And once travelers are through security, they'll find planters with built-in benches, perfect for taking a moment to recompose before heading to their gate. Now, if you're feeling hungry, there will be plenty of options to grab a bite or do some shopping both before and after security. Every new restaurant and store comes from the local community, with 60% being owned by women or minorities. From a unique stationery and gift shop to a fresh pasta counter, travelers will find a mix of new businesses and returning favorites. There are 20 brands already in place, some with permanent storefronts and others as temporary kiosks. And this is just the beginning. More local spots will be added in the next phase of construction. Bringing a taste of the region to the airport is a big part of the plan. Whether it's fresh pastries, handmade goods, or local specialties, every stop inside the terminal will reflect the heart of the city. Look up at the massive 120-foot video walls in the main terminal, and you might catch a glimpse of an Oregon cowboy. Look away for just a moment and the scene could change to butterflies fluttering around a misty waterfall. No matter how long you watch, the view is never exactly the same. These two giant video walls, placed right above the security checkpoints, bring a unique 24-hour art installation to life. The ever-changing display blends custom-made artwork with stunning Oregon landscapes. The best part? The images shift based on the time of day, the weather outside, and even how busy the airport is. These displays offer a unique perspective on the region, highlighting both its natural beauty and diverse landscapes. The visuals are made up of two main parts. One is an ever-changing digital display that reacts to real-time data, showing different scenes inspired by the local environment. The other features artistic interpretations of the region, created by talented artists who brought their own vision to the landscapes. There are six different scenes, each representing a unique part of the area. Forests, mountains, waterfalls, the coast, the desert, and the night sky. But these aren't simple videos. Instead, advanced 3D technology was used to create highly realistic cinematic visuals that capture every small detail. 
To make sure the scenery felt authentic, the creative team traveled over 900 miles and hiked more than 40 miles to study how light moves through the forests near Mount Hood or how the painted hills glow at sunset. This attention to detail makes the visuals feel alive. As the day goes on, the display changes with it. The sun shifts across the sky and the lighting in the scenes adjusts naturally. If it's raining in Portland, the digital forests on screen will also show rain, creating an immersive connection between the airport and the outside world. The video wall features the work of three talented digital storytellers, each bringing a unique perspective to the display. One artist, known for his striking photography of black cowboys across America, has created his first film for this project. His work tells the story of black cowboys in Oregon, shining a light on a community that is often overlooked. It is often as the year goes on, more pieces will appear on the screen. Each new addition will bring fresh perspectives, adding to the rich storytelling that defines this space. There isn't just one way to capture the spirit of this place. That's why multiple voices have come together, each offering their own artistic vision. The result is a collection of stories that reflect the depth and diversity of the region, making every visit to the terminal a new experience. And it doesn't end here. In their design, they've also included many hidden details or Easter eggs that visitors will discover when they walk through the airport. For example, in the forest scene, you'll notice the mushrooms growing, reflecting the humidity outside and the busy atmosphere inside the airport. If it's been raining that day, you might even see more mushrooms. Similarly, in the waterfall scene, the number of butterflies shows how busy the airport is. There's also a puffin by the coast and a few deer scattered around, some of which are quite well hidden. It will be fun to see how many people spot them during their visit. Beyond that, the hope is to remind people of the vast and diverse beauty of nature in this region. Whether it's the deep forests, the rugged coast, or the waterfalls hidden in the mountains, each scene reflects a different side of this place. For those who call this region home, it's a chance to feel proud of where they live. And for those just passing through, it might spark a desire to return, to explore more, and to experience everything this land has to offer. But the work isn't over yet. Phase two is already in progress. This next stage will bring 11 new restaurants and shops, better exit lanes, more escalators to baggage claim, and cozy waiting areas for those greeting arrivals. It's all about making the experience smoother and more comfortable for travelers. By late 2025, all the construction barriers should be gone revealing the final look of this transformed airport. But will PDX earn a spot among the world's best airports? Only time will tell. One thing is certain though, it's stunning. This airport isn't just an upgrade, it's a statement, a symbol of what American aviation can be and a glimpse into the future of airport design. Now, what do you think makes this airport stand out the most? Is it the stunning timber roof, the lush greenery, or the ever-changing digital artwork? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see more videos like this. See you in our next video. Until then, take care and thanks for watching.